All right, so check this out. This is going to be quite a few things happening here, and I'm just going to refer to some previous videos. Uh, the goal here is to take a War Dragon kit, have it remotely uh, run Kismet, and send the information using the Kismet Cap tools with GPS to a remote uh, Kismet server. On, at that Kismet server, there's going to be the Wiggle to Tack that I talked about in the previous video, essentially monitoring the uh, log file for Kismet and sending the uh, information over into a Tack server. So I've sh I've shown a little bit of that before, but we're we're doing something slightly different. This screen that you're looking at right now is essentially another uh, War Dragon that I've shown in previous videos that has the web tack. Uh, set up on it, uh, well sorry, the uh, actual TAC server set up on it. It has the input and data feed configuration that we talked about in a previous video where I opened up the UDP on 8087 and uh, let's see what else, um, certs and everything else are in place. Kismet of course is already included in Dragon OS you know as well as obviously on the War Dragon. It is already running in the background and if you recall the wiggle to tack is already configured. So the wiggle to tack and the Kismet server and the tack server are all on this same computer that you're looking at right now. That's why it says 127.001. Uh, 8087 is the port I just shown that was open. And we're looking at Home Dragon at this wiggle CSV file. Should still be reading it. Uh, and so what we're going to do is with all of that set up, we're going to jump over to the remote War Dragon, and we're going to. I was looking at some repositories here. Uh, there's actually a, a not the normal uh, screen uh, hooked up to the uh, War Dragon. That's why the um, the the resolution looks like it does. Uh, it, it doesn't have the uh, dummy plug in there, but uh, I put together this Kismet Meta GPS Quick Start. And if you read down through here, I want to make sure I give credit uh, where credit is due. Uh, you know, you got to have a Kismet installation. Of course, the War Dragon does. But the key thing here is this Python Kismet Meta GPSD, which is a script that sends uh, location updates from GPSD to a Kismet server. Now, uh, we're going to... Being that it's the War Dragon, I've already set this up and the most recent but if you needed to set this up you could get clone this repository down uh, and, and again I'm on the War Dragon right now this screen remotely through Rust Desk and so if I look at the and it has a cellular connection which is surprisingly good and uh, so I have the latest here if you looked at requirements uh, on a normal just plain Dragon OS Focal X install. The only thing you would need to do is sudo pip3 install gpsd client and log which it's already on uh, the War Dragon kit. Not really worried about web sockets. The one that's on here is fine. What we do need to do though is let's see. So we're going to need to get cloned down this Kismet. Meta GPSD quick start. And let's see, let's just do it right here in the uh, home directory. Get clone. This is just going to make it easier, uh, kind of wraps both Kismet and the uh, other Python script. I gave it rather a lengthy name there, but we're going to copy this script into the user source um, python dash kismet meta gps okay and we'll go change directory user source which I think I'm already in there here. All right. 
and so we got both Python scripts in there. So I am also connected over. Uh, let me think. Let me think. I'm connected over zero tier. Mm. Let's see. We're going to actually need to. Let's see. Need to. We're going to install zero tier. Install zero tier. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, so, let's see, I'm going to sudo zero tier CLI join, okay, so many things going on here, come back down. And I'm going to authorize that. Okay. So now the War Dragon is on the same zero tier network as the uh, Kismet server. And what we're going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I already know, already had all this worked out before. Uh, but, <clears throat> okay. So you're going to run the script in such a way that we're going to uh, use uh, the, the parameters here of the Kismet Cap bin, which uh, that's the um, Kismet Cap Linux. I'm going to put the host with a port number, um, an API key, uh, which an API key is created uh, within Kismet. If you go in Kismet, hamburger menu, upper left, click it. You're going to get to where you can create an API key, and you would create an API key with admin privileges, and then you'll get a number that you can copy and paste. Source name is the source uh, of the, the wireless interface, um, and you can play with that uh, naming structure uh, a little bit with, uh, well, actually, no, this script will tag the meta GPS name with the source name it kind of takes care of everything for you and then um, and then you could use SSL if you want and so if you see in this case I've got a Kismet host which is uh, an IP of uh, of the server the, the zero tier IP address of the server the API key that I created the source name on the war dragon is WLP1S zero and then I just gave it a meta GPS name of remote zero and that is important because this script this wrapper is going to tell both Kismet to use that meta GPS name so that it knows uh, well one that you want to use meta GPS and then it's also going to use that meta GPS name for the um, Kismet or sorry the uh, Python Kismet meta GPS D script so it's it's saying hey look I'm about to send GPS information and I need to send it to this uh, meta GPS name in, that's coming into Kismet as well. So it matches the two together. Alright, so I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to go into the same directory that everything is at. And I think if all goes well we should get a successful connection. Uh, oop, let me see. Oh yeah, okay. I need 
need to update that. I hadn't actually changed the name here. Kismet Meta GPS Quick. Quick. Let's see. Quick start. Let's just clean this up. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, could not probe. Where we go wrong here? Let's see. Oh, no wonder. WLP two S zero. So important to check that. Two, here we go. Okay, there we go. So, uh, let's see. So, starting capture. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, now we. Now we got a GPS location. Okay, so I have to do some uh, error checking there. So now, now we should be up and running. And let me see. Let's see if our number is increasing. Here is what we're looking for: seventy-three, eighty-eight. Make sure. Seventy. F okay. It should be. Yeah, there we go. Getting info into the Kismet server, which is right back here so everything that you'd expect just like kismet is designed to do but the war dragon is remotely uh, running those kismet cap tools and uh, sending those results over there so you could have three or four or five you know ten why stop why stop at five ten war dragons out and about uh, set you know doing the same thing I know it was like a little Rusty there getting it, uh, you know, set up, but I'm trying to do 20 things at once here. Um, and then uh, they'll all send their uh, information back in to the, uh, to the Kismet server. And then you could optionally have the uh, Wiggle to Tack sending over and feeding the, uh, the Tack server.